Hey everybody, Stone Spine here. Today I'm going to be going over the GoLabs R300 power station. So I'll go over some of the stuff that came with it. We've got some MC4 connectors, a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter, which goes here or here. We have a, another a male cigarette lighter adapter. You could use there and power something, or you can power it from your car and charge it from your car. Cigarette lighter adapter and 110 power supply. And something I bought separately with this, um, you'll see in the video coming up here why I needed this. I had to purchase this separately. This is for my solar panels and the only hookup they have is for this so I'm only gonna get like what, five watts out of them or something the one the solar panels I have are made um, to charge uh, power banks so I'm not sure not sure how that's gonna do we'll find out here I'll do some I'll do some testing I'm sure my testing isn't gonna be very technical or scientific but what I really want to do is I just want to find out if this uh, power station is going to meet my requirements. So what I need this to do is I need it to charge in my vehicle while I'm driving and while this is charging I need it to pass through and charge other devices off its ports. So that's one of my requirements. So I just need this to charge I want to make sure it charges my Chromebook, um, Ryobi batteries, uh, my uh, Ryobi 1 set of batteries. I need it to charge off here. Um, also, maybe run a couple small appliances. They are saying this is a 300 watt inverter with a 370 watt peak, uh, pure sine wave. And I also want this to be able to charge with a solar panel. So I'm going to be trying it in this port here. And the solar panels I have with the uh, USB, I should be able to charge it here too. This is the, see the PD 60 watt in and out. This, that's an in and out. So you can, you can quick charge off USB-C or charge something quickly off USB-C. Also later down the road, I will I would like this to be able to power a fridge while being charged with solar. Um, I'm going to be, might be living on the road here pretty soon. Got to take care of some things. So this is going to be my power source. Um, this was, I think the regular price on Amazon was $2.99. Um, I recently got it um, 80 bucks off, so I paid $2.20 for this. And comparing it to other items, Similar to this on Amazon, that seemed to be a steal. Um, they are saying this is Life Pull 4, uh, 299 uh, watt hours. I'll go over some specs real quick on this. Um, let's see here 12.8 uh, volt Life Pull, Life Pull 4 battery. Uh, the battery capacity is 299 watt hours. Um, AC output 300, 300 watts, uh, 370 watt peak. Uh, the one type C is 30 watts max, and the other one is 60 watt max. The USB, these two USB ports, uh, USB one and two, five point, or I'm sorry, five volts, three amps, nine volts, two amps. Uh, and in it says it's a uh, 15 volt 3.2 amps. What this is? Yep, 15 volts 3.2 amps on the wall wart. And that's about all I got on this spec wise. I can go over. I can say that this is a lot smaller than what I would thought. It, I thought it would be. There's my hand, just medium sized hands. You can see that's relatively small. I think I got some measurements. Yeah. Um, seven and a quarter high. 
8.75 wide and six inches thick. And it's weighing at 8.97 pounds. So it's, it's small and dense. You know, it's, it's a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. And that's, that's actually a good thing. I don't have a whole lot of room uh, with what I'm doing. And it also came with a little surprise and then the manual. I haven't really looked through the manual yet because I'm a guy and you don't read manuals when you're a dude. So, okay, I'll, I'll do some testing and uh, we'll see if it's going to meet my needs. Okay. Okay, we'll see if it'll run the fan and cycle through all the speeds. And it looks like it's pulling nine watts. Now let's see if it'll run the fan and the quick pump. I'm sure it will. It would be under 300 watts. Okay, GoLabs R300 charging two devices via the inverter, the 300 watt inverter, charging a Chromebook. Ryobi batteries. It's also charging a set of uh, DJI Mavic Mini batteries and a 2500 milliamp hour power bank. So let me go start the car up and see if it's going to charge it as a pass through as well. Okay, car's running. Everything is charging and passing through. It's charging pass through while while you know I'll be driving the car. And charging these devices you can see here zoom in on this okay checking out making sure this is going to pass through charge via solar I have a uh, smaller 30 watt solar panel there it's uh sun's pretty high up in the sky and as you can see here you can see the battery moving up and down bloop, 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 bloop. I'll unplug it and that'll stop. Okay, see it stops, so it's no longer charging. And now here, let me zoom in and do that again. So you can see the battery indicator up and down. One. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And now when I unplug it, it'll stop. Okay, it is charging through the quick charge port. Oh, now we're getting... Okay, I think that's referring to the what this is taking to charge. So it is charging the DJI batteries. And the only indicator that we have it's charging is the battery here. So let's unplug it and see what it says. Okay, so I guess that's the imp that'll be the input. Let's try it down here. Yeah, it didn't change. So I'm really not sure if this is indicating how much is coming through the panel, but. It is working, I just don't know how efficient it's going to be. But I can know I can use these solar panels in a pinch to charge up this battery. So with this uh, R300 just charging off the car's 12-volt uh, port, it's charging at 17 watts. So that's acceptable. It'll keep it topped off while I'm driving. Okay, I did a little bit of testing on this, and I'm pretty sure it's going to do what I want it to do. 
Um, give you guys a really good look at it here. Not too fond of the orange, but it is what it is. The fans on the sides. Handles not, I don't know, seems a little bit on the cheap side. It's just a clamshell container wrapped around some batteries and some components. So, nothing special. But it seems to be priced well with all the capabilities, all the capabilities that it has. And uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Uh, the LifePo 4s, lithium iron phosphate batteries, are supposed to get 2,000 cycles and uh, 10 years. So, heck, if I can get five years out of this thing, I'll be overjoyed. So, well, that's all I have for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you find this kind of stuff interesting and leave some comments, suggestions below and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see reviewed or looked at. I'll try to, uh, I'll try to do that for you. So there it is. Go Labs R300 power station. So a little bit of information I wanted to inject here into this review overview of this uh, Go Labs R300. Um, the one thing I didn't like about this is the readouts on the screen. It would be nice if there was some designated readouts for power in, power out. Um, you know, how many watts you're taking in, how many watts you're taking out. It just seems like there's just this one readout here. So that's a little bit confusing. Um, I guess maybe I should read the manual. Maybe there's some clarification there. But um, besides that, I think this is going to serve my purpose as well. And it's going to do what I need it to do. And for the price, um, I think it's a pretty good buy. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good battery system to start with. And then as you upgrade, you could use it for your mobile power source. Or it's good for a backup. So 